Marine biologists are sounding the alarm. Yesterday, one came in alive, and by the time we got there, it died. At the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies in Gulfport, Dr. Moby Solange says dead dolphins are coming in from the Mississippi Sound at an alarming rate. This is the highest number we've seen in the month of April in the last few years. He says the marine mammals are taking a triple hit. First, there is fresh water coming from the opening of the Bonnie Carey spillway and other diversions like the Mardi Gras Pass. It's causing terrible skin lesions, peeling, and killing their food source. Second, the Mississippi River drains 31 states and two provinces. But with this, they bring in agriculture, industrial, and sewage waste. All those chemicals and waste stay for a long time in the Mississippi Sound. And third, it's spring, and this area is a nursery where the dolphins come to give birth to their calves. It is literally a hurricane, but it is an aquatic hurricane. When my colleague Carice Jackman went out in St. Bernard Waters two weeks ago with Captain George Ricks of the Save Louisiana Coalition, he sounded the alarm too, finding 29 dead dolphins. He's concerned about permanent freshwater diversions being studied now that would bypass the Marine Mammal Protection Act with waivers. I've never seen these many dolphins uh, dead. Biologists say this is the canary in the coal mine, warning we the people who swim in the same water and eat the same food. But I think all of these agencies need to get together, the states need to get together and come up with a, a revised plan. Plans change, circumstances change, and I think we need to change with it. From Gulfport, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News. We did ask the National Marine Fisheries Service for a comment. They said they are coordinating their response to the dolphin strandings with state and local agencies. They said that they are still gathering data and will not comment until more information comes in.